in terms of an actual workout, what do you need? I like to split them up into four sections. Movement preparation, which some of you would know this as warm-up. Uh, the reason we change the name is not just for the sake of changing the name, but uh, because we're not just warming up the body in terms of getting our blood, you know, getting our blood circling. We are doing that, but we're also preparing each individual joint and muscle group to get it ready for the sport or the activity you're going to do. This is also typically where we throw in corrective exercises for you know, issues with your specific product. Power is uh, critical, of course, for performance at a high end. But even for someone who's just a recreational skier, if you think about uh, someone falls on the hill in front of you, the ability to actually really quickly move out of the way, that's power that's going to allow you to do that. So power is key for anyone. Um, you know, for someone like, you know, our grant, like someone who's in, in their 80s, Power is key to make sure that, you know, if they, if they slip, that they don't actually fall, right? So it's what allows you to get your leg out. So we kind of, we tend to think about power as being something that athletes or competitive athletes need. It's something that everybody needs. Uh, strength, of course, I think if I were to pick one thing that's the most important, I would actually say strength. Um, of course, everything's important, but if you don't want to do one thing, get stronger. Uh, your strength does actually go as you get older. You can prevent that or you can significantly reduce that by training. And, and being strong helps things like your core, helps your knees, all that. And lastly, conditioning or cardio, um, sometimes now referred to as energy system development. It's all the same thing. It's basically getting your cardio, cardio respiratory system working. And as I mentioned back in the sport specific part of this, for snowboarding, for skiing, I would recommend in this you want uh, high, you want repeated short bursts is what you're doing on the hill, so we want to be training with high intensity intervals, which is nice from a time management perspective. They usually take sort of 10 to 15 minutes worth of intervals is great, versus 45 minutes of you know jogging on the treadmill. You're going to get more out of the 15 minutes and it takes half an hour.